In a competitive examination, one mark is awarded for every correct answer, while one by four mark is deducted for every wrong answer. A student answered hundred questions and got eighty marks. How many questions did he answer correctly? Use Cramer's rule to solve the problem. So, if you look into the question. Total number of questions answered by the student is hundred. A student answered hundred questions. So total number of questions is equal to hundred. Let the number of correct questions be x, and let the number of wrong questions be y. So the total number of questions, correct question plus the wrong question put together should be hundred because the student has answered hundred questions in all. So therefore, x plus y is equal to hundred. This is one equation. Now, the mark allocated for correct answer is one. For every correct answer. The mark allocated is one. For every wrong answer, the mark allocated was minus one by four. So this you can see in the question itself. One mark is awarded for every correct answer, while one by four mark is deducted. Deducted means we have to reduce, so we are introducing minus sign. So if you look in to the equation. Mark allocated for correct answer is one. Mark allocated for wrong answer is minus one by four. So put together, he has got eighty marks. He has answered correct answers as well as wrong answers, but put together, he has got only eighty marks. That is, we have assumed that he has answered x questions correctly. So for that, we have to award. One mark. So total number of questions is x. So x into one. He has answered y questions wrong answer. Therefore, we have to deduct minus one by four for each wrong answer. So the number of wrong answers is so y into minus one by four. Put together, overall he has scored eighty. That is, x into one x minus one by four y is equal to eighty. Now, you multiply this equation by four, so this will become four x. If you multiply by four, four four gets cancelled. You will get one y. And if you multiply by four, eighty into four will give you three twenty. Now we have two equations. So these equations can be written as here one one four minus one into x y and the right hand side of the matrix will be hundred and three twenty. So putting this in matrix format, of course we are going to solve this problem with Cramer's rule. First we will write down in matrix format. That is. If you see here, one one here four minus one, so one one four minus one, the column matrix will be x y unknown value, and the right hand side will be hundred and three twenty. Okay, now we have framed the matrix, but we are going to solve the in Cramer by using Cramer's rule. So first step will be we have to find out the del. So determinant of this. Matrix that is one one four minus one so one into minus one is minus one minus four into one is four so this will give you minus five now we have to find out the x value so what you do is you introduce this hundred and three twenty column matrix in the first column that is hundred three twenty will come here so hundred three twenty The second column will be as it is one minus one. Determinant of that 
divided by del. So 100 into minus 1 is minus 100. Minus 320 into 1 is 320. So you will get minus 420. Del value is minus 5. If you simplify, you will get 84. Similarly, if you want to find the value of y, what you have to do is, this 100 and 320 will get fixed in the second column. That is 1, 4, 100, 320. You find the determinant value divided by del. So 320 into 1 is 320 minus 4 into 100 is 400 divided by minus 5. This will result in minus 80 by minus 5 and on simplification you will get 16. Now we know the value for x as well as y. So we have already said that the number of correct questions answered, correct answers. So the student has answered correctly for 84 questions correctly and 16 questions were wrong. So if you add together 84 plus 16 that will result in 100. So that's all about this problem. Thanks for watching. Nandri.